This is the HBCU Update. I'm Ricky King. The Monarchs take on the Eagles of North Carolina Central in the final game of the season. The Monarchs' Thomas DeMarco finds Reed Evans for a 24-yard touchdown pass to take the lead. And then Jamar Parham takes one from 47 yards out. Monarchs win 33-21. Florida A&M Rattlers and the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats face off in the Florida Classic. The Rattlers had the lead for most of this game. Philip Sylvester scores the game's first points with a nine-yard touchdown run. Isidore Jackson scores from two yards out to give Bethune-Cookman the lead, but the Rattlers use their size up front and the running of Philip Sylvester in the third quarter as he scored from 14 yards out, bringing the Rattlers within three points of the Cats. Then backup Levante Page scores from one yards out to give the Rattlers the lead 31-27. The Rattlers hang on for a 38-27 win. Philip Sylvester had a huge day, 26 carries for 146 yards and three touchdowns. The HBCU Update would like to congratulate D'Angelo Branch of Norfolk State University. The senior running back broke LaRue Harrington's career rushing record. He rushed for 1,330 yards this year and 13 touchdowns. The all-MEAC team were selected this week. It included Spartans D'Angelo Branch, Kendall Noble on the offensive line with Will Falasecki, and defensive tackle Josh Turner. At Hampton University, Kendrick Ellis defensive tackle, Offensive lineman Jamal Lewis, linebacker Brandon Pegues, free safety Ricardo Silva. The MEAC Offensive Player of the Year this year is Matt Johnson from Bethune-Cookman University. And the MEAC Rookie of the Year, Antoine Chisholm, running back, Hampton University. I'm Ricky King, and this has been the HBCU Update.